hello guys once again welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for always coming back to watch my videos in case it is your first time to come across this channel kindly don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell in order to get more of my videos i'm coming live from mombasa city kenya and for now it is uh, we are on a rainy season as you can see i have a flu a little flu so guys i have a nice topic that i would love to discuss with you and it can somehow help someone out there who is watching me it doesn't matter whether it's a female or a male watching this video i believe it's going to be helpful to you and whatever i'm going to discuss right now it's gonna like help you in making some decisions in life you know especially in choosing your life partner so guys um <laughs> the topic of today is mainly focusing on the partner that you want to spend the rest of your life with your entire life with you know how can you tell uh someone who is going to spend the rest of your life with how can you identify them you know how do we identify is it through the character is it through their religion is it through their how they dress is it through um what they believe in is it through what else um i don't know maybe you can drop on the comment section what you think about this topic and let me know uh, what are the kind of things that you look on before choosing the kind of partner you want to have or live with for the rest of your life so get your pens and a notebook write something down and maybe learn a few things here and there so that you can be able to to make the right thing or the right decision before moving in or being with that person and if you have already chosen your partner i believe if there are some things which you didn't know about them and you are starting to realize about them right now i believe you can still change some things and maybe talk it out with them let them know that this is what i like this is what i don't like you know just approach them in a good way and let them know that uh, you're not happy with maybe some things that are happening in your current situation, uh, relationship, and uh, let them know that you need them to work on them and change. Yeah, so that you can be peaceful and be contented with them or with him or her. Yeah, so guys, uh, this is our topic of today. And um, let me know what you think because... For me, I think religion matters. Religion really matters. Even if someone will tell you that, oh no, religion doesn't matter in a relationship. Uh, for me, I think it matters. It really matters because if someone, like I am a Christian and then a Muslim guy approach, approaches me, you know. You know, if, um, if a Muslim guy approaches me, okay, I like him or I like her, what can I do, you know? Because our religion differs, you know? Are, we have two different religions, and uh, maybe the, the guy or the lady, and uh, about their religion, they, they, they expect you to change, you know? For the Muslims, they expect you to change your religion. Like, if you are a Christian, you have to change to be a Muslim. So what can you do about this situation, and you like the guy? Let me know in the comment section, and... Um, what do you think about this? Is it possible for people from two different religions to work things out and even have kids? Is there any other way to solve this problem? Like, maybe, can they even get married? That's the first step. Can, can they even get married? And uh, what are the procedures they can take so that their relationship can go through peacefully and uh, both parties, like both family members from this side and the other side, can be able to accept and and agree that these people they love one another and you know love doesn't choose religion it doesn't choose tribe it doesn't choose uh, character like you know you can just find yourself that you fall in love with someone and you, you you don't know what you can do you know 
So let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Is it possible from, for two people from different religion to work things out and maybe even have children, get married, have kids? Yeah, so that is the main topic of today. And uh, also, for, for the religion is the most thing that I'm looking at. And uh, because it has brought a lot of like disagreements, you know, people believe, okay, others believe in this, others believe in this, others have different way of culture, and others have different way of cultures. So do you think a Muslim and a Christian can work things out? Do you think they can really get married to one another and things can go through and live together happy ever after that is our main topic of today let me know in the comment section what you think about it because it's gonna help someone out there who has maybe is, is in the same situation and does and doesn't know what to do you know so we are going back to another point about uh characteristic People have different characters, you know. There are those who are used to this kind of lifestyle and you, you are used to another kind of lifestyle. Do you think if someone doesn't, like, go, like, okay, let me say like this. Um, you are characteristic, you was and him or has, they differ. Do you think it is possible to work things out? Hmm? Is it possible? And also we have different cultures and beliefs, you know. So let me know what you think. If someone has a different type of character, like you're a cool person, you don't go out, like you're an introvert and you find someone else is an extrovert. Maybe someone loves going out. They love to dance. They love to go out, party, mingle with friends. They love to travel, do some other things. And you find that your partner doesn't want to do such a thing. They don't love traveling. They don't love exploring. They don't love going out. They don't like uh, doing maybe extra activities. They just want to chill uh, inside their home and relax and maybe drink something, watch some movie or spend some quality time at home. But for you, you prefer going out. You prefer going out with friends. You prefer uh, experiencing something new outside there and you don't like staying inside the house you know so we have two different kind of people there are those who love staying inside and there are those people who love exploring outside so let me know in the comment section can this work out a relationship between an introvert and an extrovert can this work out or should they be in the same position like if i'm an introvert i should find someone who's also an introvert or, or if he is an extrovert he should find someone who is an extrovert that's what i want to know yeah so and also another thing is maybe someone from a different country someone from a different country they have different cultures and I have a different culture. So what do you think about this? Are you able to adapt to something new? Are you someone who loves to learn something new? Or are you someone who loves to stick on your culture? You love to stay in what, you, like you believe in what you know and you don't want to try something new, you know? So can this be possible? Hmm? So these are the kind of things you should look at before we try something new with someone. Before we try something with someone, let's try and find out something about them and let us understand, is this what I'm, I'm going to be able to cope up with? Hmm? What are the things are we supposed to look at before we get in a relationship? Religion, character, hmm. what else? Culture, um, what else? Um, their beliefs you know there are some some who don't even believe in god they don't have any belief you know they don't they are not a muslim they are not a christian so can this relationship work out a christian someone who is really into god and there is someone who doesn't believe in god is this possible for their relationship to work out that's another question that you need to ask yourself before you get yourself into a relationship with someone. Find out if this is possible. Can this work out? Because remember, this person doesn't have any belief. He or she doesn't believe in 
anything or anyone. I, like I mean, like God. He or she doesn't believe in God. So, and you, you are a Christian. You believe in God. You believe that God exists. Hmm? Do you think this relationship is possible to work? Let me know on the comment section what you think about this topic of today. Your comments will be very much appreciated. And I know someone who is watching out there will be so happy to see those comments because it will help him or her make the right decision. Yeah. So, um... That's what I wanted to talk today. That's our main topic of today. If you love this topic, please hit the thumbs up. Drop some sweet comment for your guy. Let me know what is in your mind on this topic of today. And for those who have been so supportive each and every day, I really appreciate you. Thank you because you keep me going. And I want to say that um, your support is my strength and I don't take it for granted. And I want to appreciate you all. And I want to say happy Easter to everyone watching from everywhere. And I hope your year goes well and everything goes well on your side. And that blessings follow you wherever you go. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe in case you are new to my channel. If you want any collaboration or any kind of maybe you want a meet up or something please go to my description on my youtube channel and check out my email address is there if you want to ask me anything please go to my email address at maureen or geek at gmail.com and text me i am there i will be able to see your message and reply you if there's any questions please also drop on the comment section so that we can talk it out. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.